What's the secret to a great squat? Cosmic squat energy. Now, this fundamental field, which is part of the standard model of strength training, not only makes our squat stronger, but it also fixes a common squat form error, which makes it the foundation of a powerful squat cue. And this cosmic squat energy field is everywhere, pervading all of space-time. You just have to connect to it. Today, I'm gonna to show you how. Hey, Gray Steel Nation, Sully here with the Barbell Prescription, keeping you fit after 50. Now, squats are hard, and not just because they're heavy. This is part of what makes them so charming and why learning how to squat is so worthwhile. Squats train both strength and skill, which is why they're part of our barbell prescription for healthy aging. Squats move a lot of weight, but they also train a big multi-joint movement pattern that has to be synchronized and balanced and correct. So we have to keep an eye on our squat technique. And even when we fix one squat form error, Another thing will creep in because fixing one problem often generates one or more new problems. Hercules knew all about this. The Hydra conundrum was simply the whack-a-mole of antiquity. So, for example, let's say you've been working on your squat depth. You're able to get your hips into the hole at adequate depth, but at the expense of some new error. And two of the most common errors that we see with deep squats our lumbar relaxation and dropping the hips forward. Now, these two problems are superficially distinct, but they can both result from laxity of the hamstrings. And the former also results in a rounding of the lower back that I, for one, prefer not to look at. Fortunately, both errors can be addressed and often remedied by a single embellishment of the mental model or thinkage of the squat. Let's look at this a little closer. Consider an athlete approaching the bottom of the squat. His diagnostic angles are perfect and the knees are anchored. These things go together actually. His back is extended and strong and the bar is in the slot, moving vertically over the middle of the foot. The situation is stable and balanced and powerful. With good squat technique, the athlete attains depth without any change in his back angle, lumbar extension or knee position. All is well. Alas, this does not always happen. All too often, the athlete, eager to attain depth as he approaches the bottom position, either relaxes his lumbar or drops his hips forward. In this first example, the pelvis tilts posteriorly and the result is that the low back is rounded, the spinal erectors are loose, and the hamstrings are not in a good position to assist in the squat. In the second case, the lumbar is extended and the pelvis is not tilted but the lifter has dropped the hips not only down, but also forward, generally with an accompanying knee poke, and always a change in the back angle. This results in displacement of the balance point, slackening the hamstrings, and suckage. In both cases, the hips have dropped below parallel, true. Depth has been attained, but this laudable technical goal has only been accomplished through the invocation of evil. The illusion of success will only perpetuate the evil, but it cannot last. These are Faustian squats, my friends. And one day, soon, a Mephistophelian debt will come due. Has this kind of thing happened to you? Have you found that you can only get the depth at the expense of knee slide or backgrounding or some other form error? Please share your experiences and your questions in the comments. And please give us a like while you're at it. That helps us out a lot. So, if we look closely at what's going on with the squats in our examples, we can see that both of these tragic scenarios involve an anterior displacement. In particular, an anterior displacement of the hip chassis, more technically referred to as the ass. In the first case, the ass has dropped and the pelvis is tilted, resulting in anterior displacement of the whole assembly. In the second case, the pelvis has not tilted, but the ass has still been anteriorly displaced. 
anterior displacement of the ass is the common factor. And this is where we need an understanding of cosmic squat energy. You see, when the athlete has correctly assumed the diagnostic angles for the squat in his descent, he has, according to his thinkage, connected his ass to a wall of power. The wall is behind the athlete, and it is an energized wall, a force field, a source of unimaginable power bristling with cosmic squat energy. By connecting to it, the athlete has tapped into that energy, and his squat will succeed, as long as he does not lose that connection. So, in the correct squat, the athlete has achieved a clean, correct, sanctified bottom position, free of sin and guilt. And there is much rejoicing because he remains connected to the wall of power. Being thus connected, he is all set to launch back up using his hip drive, which requires that self-same connection. In our two examples, however, all is lost. Again, both errors are superficially distinct but both involve a breach of contact with the wall of power, which can of course lead only to looseness, locusts, and lamentation. As in Goethe's Faust, the lifter has some hope of redemption if he can reconnect to the wall of power. But this will involve straightening of the lumbar or correcting the back angle and knee position while under a load at the bottom. This is not ideal. And so the outcome at max weight is more likely to be less like Goethe and more like Marlowe. Look it up. The take home point is this. There is a wall of power bristling with cosmic squat energy just behind your platform. As you descend into the squat, anchoring your knees and establishing your back angle, you must hook into that power by connecting your ass to it. This means, among other things, that the cosmic squat energy is behind you, not in front. Which means that the squat is behind you, not in front. Hooking up to the wall of power means reaching back into it. So that is how your back angle is established. Not by leaning forward. But that's another video. Let us know in the comments if you'd like to see it soon. Reach back with your ass. Connect to the wall of power and the cosmic squat energy and stay connected all the way down and all the way up by keeping your lower back tight, your hips back, and your tailbone up. The result will be a stronger, more balanced, more powerful squat with all of the delights and wonders thereunto pertaining. And then you can move on to your next challenge.